So we're sitting here at uh, the LA Car Show Connected Car uh, Expo with Danny Shapiro. And um, Danny, we appreciate you taking time out. And just kind of tell us what's going on. Um, give us a quick tour of you know, the, the highlights of what's going on here. No, we're, we're really happy to be here at the Connected Car Expo with Audi, uh, one of our great partners. And on the stand, you know, we have the brand new TT. Um, it's going to have its debut actually tomorrow when the show opens, but what's really key here is we're showcasing a whole range of different technologies that we've developed with Audi, and it's based on our Tegra processors, so mobile processors that go into to tablets and gaming systems. Uh, we've now made it automotive grade, and they, they go on the vehicle, and so some of the different displays here that we're showing um, are, are the systems in Audi vehicles, so the, the MIB system, the modular infotainment system here, you can now see what it looks like when you've removed it from the vehicle, but inside is our Tegra mobile processor. Um, it's used to run the infotainment, Google Maps, uh, Street View even inside the car. Uh, depending on the type of uh, model, um, there's different screen sizes that uh, it can drive. Inside the TT now, what we've done is we've actually merged the center stack screen mm -hmm. with the instrument cluster. So it's an all digital instrument cluster. Audi calls it the virtual cockpit. And you can merge your tachometer, your speedometer, along with your radio, with your navigation, and other vehicle features. Um, Audi also is bringing to market something called the smart display, which is an automotive grade tablet. And this is something that uh, was announced at CES, powered by Tegra. But unlike normal tablets, that if you would leave them in, in the car, uh, maybe docked in the rear seat on a, on a hot day, um, the car heats up to over 100 degrees, right? If you left your phone in there, it wouldn't work. Right. These tablets are automotive grade, so they're going to work in any kind of conditions. Very hot days, um, cold, freezing temperatures overnight. Um, won't affect the tablet. So this is an Android-based tablet, but it's integrated into a lot of the vehicle controls. It seamlessly um, communicates uh, with the vehicle. So that's just going to be, it's not going to be fixed, it's going to be an actual, like a tablet. It, it's a tablet. You can take it out of the car, oh. you can run, you know, any Android apps, it's, it's Android-based, um, but there's specific Audi apps, and so you have all your content on here, it will play directly out through the car's sound system seamlessly. Um, you can um, do searches and send those navigation searches from the tablet right into the vehicle. Wow. Um, for back seat, you can actually see some of the vehicle controls. So you can have your virtual speedometer and tachometer um, for the kids in the back seat. You know, right, right. Thing. So it's going to be a lot of really neat features. On now, now, is that going to be, and you're saying that that's going to be available for cars, for Audi specifically? Exactly. Uh, it's, it's an Audi developed um, and branded uh, tablet, wow. automotive grade. And then over on this side, again, what we have here really is showcasing um, the system that, that's inside the TT. So again, the actual guts of the system, there's the infotainment system here um, that's driving all the maps, Google Earth, um, all the Audi Connect system. And then we have one of our Tegra processors built into the uh, instrument cluster as well. Oh, wow. So you can it's see, too, huh? again, yes, yeah, so this is a fully working unit. So if I want to look at my map here, now I can see, here's our 3D Google Maps. But what I can also do is to go into a different view and see the entire um, display taking up that instrument cluster. And again, it's running very high resolution, 60 frames a second, so you get very smooth animation of the gauges and needles, just like you would you know, with traditional hardware. It's very cool. I can put this thing right now. I, I, I'm not sure I can fit, but I, you know, I can try. It just says climb in the car. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get in the driver's seat. Oh, you know, with all this gear, come all on, right, man. You're, you're killing me. I don't know why it's telling me the. So there's the map, right? You can see it's Google Earth, right? Yeah. And then you have you know, the whole convention center right there. So the other thing that's pretty cool, we have on here Street View. So just like in you know regular Google Earth, um, 
I can now zoom in or zoom out, but I can see Street View. Now you can only do this while you're parked, but this gives you the ability to see. Oh, that's awesome. There's the convention center, right? That's ridiculous. Is that great? <laughs> And it's all, you know, we're connected cars, so we're getting just the live data coming down from Google servers. And it's, it's just, it's a better Google Earth experience than you really get on, on a typical mobile device. I mean, so the great thing though is if you're going someplace you've never been before, you can see exactly what that destination looks like before you start driving. And that creates a, a much safer driving experience. You look good in this car. I think anybody will look good in this car, but you look good in this car. That's great technology. Thanks so much for the uh, for the for the heads up and the, uh, just the information. This is this is great stuff. The dash looks incredibly good. It looks it looks like a a nice upgrade. It's a beautiful upgrade. The partnership with Audi goes back a few years. This is not it goes a back new, almost ten years. Yeah, there. this is not a new thing. That's right. Um, we're doing a lot of work, obviously, with Audi. Um, but it goes then throughout the entire Volkswagen group. So these technologies, then through software updates, um, we can add new features and capabilities, but also can have a different look and feel. So what goes in Volkswagen or Lamborghini or Bentley is based off the same core technology, but a software update enables new features and a different look. Um, Audi uses the, the MMI controller. Um, in the Volkswagen, it would be a touch screen. Right, right. Well, look, we, we definitely appreciate you just taking time out, and uh, um, you guys have an announcement, or you have a press conference coming up, so we're gonna we're gonna stick around for that. And uh, but uh, we just love seeing you, and we're gonna hopefully see you at CES uh, in, a, in about a month or so. But thank you so much for the for the tour.